There are many virtues in solitude, the Zen of the moment, if you will, meaning the beauty of here and now, being mindful of what's in front of me. So with my camera, a blank SD card, and an empty mind, which is not an easy feat, I explored my surroundings and my thoughts, personal choices. Today, sitting on this bench, I was not only mindful of the beauty around me, but I became aware of the atrocities committed in the name of religion. Religion. Why am I so hard on religion? Because religion is used in so many different ways by unscrupulous politicians on weak minds, people who don't think for themselves. Atrocities committed by unscrupulous people in the name of religion, in the name of God. Whether it was based on the promises of 13 virgins after death, the 6 million murders because of a religious affiliation, or currently the ripping away of children from their parents, all of which were supported by religion, that is, religious people. I found it all troubling. I decided to be calm, relax, and become aware of just what was in front of me. At least I tried. I tried my best to be aware of nature, but in solitude I reflected. Because of the atrocities and the specter of children being affected, religion was not far from my mind. The atrocities committed in the name of religion, in the name of God, in the name of the church. So, sitting on this bench, the words of Charles Fillmore came to mind. Charles Fillmore said, and I quote, The true church is not made of creeds and forms, nor is it contained in walls of wood and stone. The heart of man is his temple, and the spirit of truth is the one guide into all truth. When men learn to turn within to the spirit of truth, who is in each one for his light and inspiration, the differences between the churches of man will be eliminated and the one church will be recognized." End quote. I believe that one church to be nature and that the God we seek is not out there somewhere but in fact inside each and every one of us. We need only to follow our own heart and that is to see God as being good and to see good as being God. Think for ourselves and to be good, good human beings. Religion not needed or required. Not churches, not religion, but God. As you might remember, Charles Fillmore was a devotee of Ralph Waldo Emerson. As for Emerson, well, to understand the Fillmore's Merle and Charles, one must understand Emerson. And you get an insight into Emerson by reading some of his quotes. For example, and these are some of the quotes from Emerson. The religion that is afraid of science dishonors God and commits suicide. Here's another quote. The happiest man is he who learns from nature the lessons of worship. Meaning, I think that nature should be your church. And then there's this one. The faith that stands on authority is not faith. This one is so current. The fatal trait of the times is the divorce between religion and morality. And finally, religion is as effectively destroyed by bigotry as by indifference. Now you know, Emerson was a great influence and made quite an impact on Charles Fillmore. So as I sit here on this bench, I reflect on the words of Charles Fillmore. The true church is not made of creeds and forms nor is it contained in the walls of wood and stone. The heart of man is its temple, and the spirit of truth 
is the one guide into all truth. When men learn to turn within themselves to the spirit of truth, who is in each one of his light and inspiration, the differences between the churches of man will be eliminated and the one church will be recognized. End quote. I believe that one church is nature, and with nature being the church, of course, there one will find God. Of course, I could be wrong, and you must think for yourself. <laughs>